And just to go on your point there, like to, to kind of explain to the audience a little bit of like what 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 we're trying to say, what, what's going to happen to Bitcoin over the next by cycle. Usually, a crypto cycle is four years, right? So it's like every yeah every four years you have like a, a certain portion of it where it's like we're we're kind of crashing, we're trying to get to the bottom, we hit the bottom. Then the next year we're kind of recovering, and then the points after that um, we we're at the all time highs and we're you know woo you know everyone's super happy right, and then the tail end we start going back down and then you repeat the four year cycle again. That that's pretty much the four year cycle. So every time the cycle happens, you get that's birth. Much you get birth, destru uh, birth, destruction, and rebirth again. And right. the longer something survives, the more people like it, it's ingrained in multiple. Gen like every four years is it's basically a generation, sort of like a high school class or a college class. So it's like every four years there's a new kind of batch. Like I'm the class of 2017, so it's Charlie. Then people are gonna be like, oh, I was the class of 2021. Uh, like, and th that's oh, you're so I'm just curious. You why am I so good? <laughs> <laughs> Early, wow, oh, it was easy for you guys. You know, back in my day, you know. Or like, you yeah. know, whatever ends up people saying. So wherever the all-time highs were, where is pretty much where people count themselves as the class of. So it's like, you know, so me and Charlie technically would be class of 2017, basically, right? Yep. And then people from 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 your guys' stuff would be like, oh, yeah, I, I basically am a, I'm a 2021, 2022. Oh, okay, got it, got it. And then pretty much kind of describes what all the shenanigans you guys were up to during that time <laughs> and what coins you're, like, investing in and yep. stuff. But as time goes on, eventually what Bitcoin is going to transform into to something like this. It's going to transform into like, you know how if you go to a bank, Jesse, you can get a loan on your house so easy. Like you, mm -hmm. can, you can take money out of your house. The reason you can is because it has equity, right? right? And it's a trusted asset. So BTC in the next cycle is really going to be an asset where you're going to be able to go anywhere and just get money for it. Because it's it, it, because you own a Bitcoin, you own basically like a piece of hard real estate that has instant equity. And then you can you can get loans and money on it at like a, basically yep. at a really good rate. So my it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. My uh, my friend, uh, Bitcoin Maxi friend, who introduced me to everything, yeah. actually already does that. He yeah yeah. He he just yeah. transferred some Bitcoin to a wallet. It's under some kind of company, and it's you know utilized as what is it collateral? Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. And, and and the the beautiful thing is is like that's for like DeFi native DeFi and crypto native guys who can because we just show you guys right now how you can borrow in your crypto if you want to on on the on like Aave or any of these kind of DeFi platforms or on Phantom and stuff like or Scream or anything else they need to. But what's going to happen over the next eight years is like actual like big institutions in the real world will take your crypto and give you loans on houses and stuff like that, which yeah probably a little dangerous probably wouldn't I wouldn't be doing all that jazz but like but but you're going to be able to do that and here's the magical thing is that usually everyone has to get a credit check. Um, there's actually racial profiling. There's there's a, actually a lot of things where like you, you're not allowed to do something. You've got you've got this gold. You've got this. Let's just say this a ledger or like a crypto ledger. You have this crypto ledger here. Actually, as a matter of fact, sir, treasure, <laughs> treasure right here. I've got one um, of those. Yeah, you yep. you got one of those treasures right there with the BTC in it. They'll give you basically the best loan ever for the best rate because they're they'll, they're so hungry to get crypto and BTC in the future because it's worth so much and. It's basically like you have a 850 credit score and with the with the long track rate, you're going to get an extremely good rate so it, like literally you'd be you'd be getting a loan during good times and you might be getting a loan let's say at 1.5 percent wow yeah like because it's that even, even after these uh rates go well, I, well i'm just being i'm being a little i mean a little you know because she's obviously yeah. i do expect rates to actually come down at some point you know but like but whatever the rate is, it would be just like 25 basis points above that. So it's like if it's if it's six percent, then it'd be 6.25. It's three percent, 3.25 basically. But basically, you're pretty much getting it for the cost what their cost of money is, is based because that asset's that valuable because whoever who he who has the gold who makes the rules. So who he who has the actual assets on their balance sheet gets to make the rules when things go to shit basically. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, it does look like the call is going to be ending here soon. Okay. Um, so basically, um,